Hi, thanks for tuning in and listening. Today, once again, I want to talk to you about COVID-19 and the vaccine and express some concerns that I have. All throughout the country, you're seeing an uptick in cases. 99% of the people who are dying today from COVID-19 are unvaccinated people. So I need to talk to you about vaccinations. First, let's take a look at the trend. Now, this is the total trend of everybody in Haverhill diagnosed with COVID-19 going back a year and a half to March of 2020 when this started. You can see this is the big peak here, uh, which happened months ago, and we've gone down, down, down steadily. Now, I want you to see what happens when we just look at between now and June 1st. We had cases with zero a day, diagnosed two a day, one a day, and all of a sudden, we've seen a slight uptick, eight a day, 10 a day, 12 a day, and we're seeing an uptick in cases, just like everybody in the country is. Now, again, it's nowhere as bad as it was, and I don't want to overly alarm you, but I do want to talk to you about it. I hope you remember what I told you a year ago, a year and a half ago, when this started. Plan, not panic. This is nothing to panic over, but it's something to plan for. Now, I want to commend those of you listening who are vaccinated, which is probably about two-thirds of you. 58% of the total population of the city, 34,405 people as of last week, have been fully vaccinated. Great job. Thank you for doing that. Another 4,000 have received the first shot. Again, great job. And that brings us up to 60% of the total city that's been vaccinated. Now, some people aren't eligible. They're under 12, and they don't really count, shouldn't really count in the statistics, but they do. So probably somewhere around two-thirds of the city has received at least one shot of the vaccine. But that leaves a third of you out there that haven't been vaccinated, and I am concerned. Come the fall, when we're back inside and the children are back in school, those of you who aren't vaccinated, I need you, the city needs you, and your family needs you to step up to the plate and get vaccinated. This is not a joke. This is serious, serious business. I need you, we need you, your family needs you to get vaccinated. Now, there's still lots of places to do it, and it's still really, really easy. Today, July 22nd, if you're listening on July 22nd, you can just stop into the Citizen Center anytime until 3. You don't need an appointment, and they'll take care of you. July 23rd, July 23rd, that's Friday, you can go to Riverside Park. You're going to see a big bus there anytime from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's called the State Max Bus, and I want you to consider getting down there, getting on that bus, and getting vaccinated. But there's others. August 3rd is National Night Out at Swayze Field. August 3rd, National Night Out for the police and the neighbors between 5 and 8 p.m. We're going to have a vaccination clinic there, and I want you to come up. If you live in that area or anywhere in the city, come on up and get vaccinated. If you don't make any of these times, tomorrow with Riverside Park, National Night Out, August 3rd, uh, then I want you to go, go to Walgreens or CVS. They ask you to please log in ahead of time. Walgreens over in Bradford, go to www.walgreens.com. Easy to remember, walk in and get vaccinated. CVS, there's only one CVS that does it, and that's the one on near Target, up on uh, way up on Lowell Avenue. You can go to cvs.com and make an appointment and get vaccinated there. So you have a, a lot of choices. Tomorrow at Riverside Park, August 3rd at National Night Out, any day at Walgreens in Bradford or CVS up on Computer Drive. And we're going to have more. We have one going on right now at the Citizen Center. We will have more. You can just call the Citizen Center. We need you to get vaccinated. Let's keep our city completely safe. I'm Mayor Jim Fiorentini. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I'll be back next week.